Hi everybody, Elliot here, Lazy Dogs Records, and this is a contest entry for John at Digital Gramophone, uh, his contest, Five Best. And it, he said, use your imagination and don't make it boring and keep it under five minutes. So here it goes. My five best album covers on a budget. Maurice John Vaughn, Alligator Records, generic blues album. That pretty much does it right there. But it is 100% pure blues. Get your standard black and white photo on the back, and you've got you a album cover on the cheap. That was number five. Number four. Okay, here's one for the jazz buffs. A lot of jazz fans out there. I picked this record up at a charity th thrift in Shalote, North Carolina, which is in Brunswick County on the coast. And it is the birthplace and childhood home of Helen Morgan, common law wife of Lee Morgan. And if you know your jazz history, as I'm beginning to learn, it didn't turn out too well. But this is the Byrne Brothers. Now this is a coastal community, so these were probably some retirees came down here and they ended up unloading their records. The Byrne Brothers, look at that album cover. And it says, uh, I don't want to go home. The Byrne Brothers, their theme song, plus Irish American favorites. And down here it says, the most exciting act at the Jersey Shore. Oh, you know it. Nothing like drums and piano. Great black and white photos on there too. Okay. But they really packed it in at their club. Uh, I'm not going to search for the name of the club here, but I thought that was kind of interesting and it didn't cost much now you know there are always those generic bands that they would put together and do a studio album uh and try to market at drugstores and dime stores and stuff like that uh and trying to be hip and cool and it was a real effort and there are lots of musicians out there trying to make it uh on their own trying to you know keep some food on the table and keep the lights on so they're going to do whatever they got to do how about a now generation Woo. look at that one they're at an airport in front of a plane they got a snare drum and a guitar and in here among these gentlemen here i think it's either this one or this one is a very young jimmy buffett this was a band, they, I don't think they really toured or anything. They put this album out and tried to make it sound like uh, they were the next big hip thing. You know, they got their sunglasses on, they're looking just cool as they can be. Uh, and I uh, don't know if they sold many of those, but they sold one to somebody because I bought it used at a thrift store. <laughs> Crown Records put out this album in 1963, Sounds of the Drags, back when Hot Rods were so popular. This is not the Alvin Brothers Blasters. This is 1963. Uh, just another one of those kind of generic bands. Uh, don't count on the looks, Hot Rod Center, Black Pickup, Little Willie's Dragster, Big Green Vet, and just take some pictures of some race hot rods or race cars put them on the cover and then advertise the rest of your records on the back crown records did that and number one number one is jerry cole a go-go guitars now look at that cover now this is on crown records as well they they could put out some records the graphic arts the photographer and all the artsy people they must have overslept that day when they had to do this shoot okay get the girl that looks like she's on laugh in take the picture you need to be a little bit of a blur it looks like she's really moving and put a cheapo nylon string nylon string guitar there and you've got your album cover and believe it or not, this is actually a pretty good record. Okay, that's it for me. Bye.